Hallelujah, and welcome back to Hayek Kadosh Ministries, friends, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is the only standard for truth. And with that, together God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is September the 11th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, I trust that you are feeling happy in Jesus today, friends. Our text this morning is going to be taken from 1 John chapter 4 and verse 10, which reads, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believes not the record that God gave of his Son. And so everything is centered around the person who lived on this earth 2,000 years ago, known as Jesus of Nazareth. And listen again to what it says. He that believeth not on the Son of God has made God a liar. For he that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. In other words, in the person who believes on the Son of God, now remember, friends, the devils believe in Jesus and tremble under that belief, James 2.19. So there's more to believing than acknowledging from our minds. What it's saying is there must be a character in that person that reflects the Lord Jesus himself. And what do we see in Jesus? We see mercy. We see compassion. We see obedience to the things of God the Father. We see a spirit of grace and tenderness and humility. And these are the characteristics that must personify us, friends. There is no judgmentalism. Sure, we can speak the word of God in love and truth, but we're never vicious in our attacks. We're never strong and overwhelming to the person that we're ministering to. We're patient. We are kind. We are loving. We are gentle. We can say what we mean, and we can mean what we say, but we can certainly say it without being mean. You see, we are going to cross paths with those who are living sinful lives each and every day, more so than those who are living righteous lives. And it is to them we must speak truth, but we must speak it in grace and in compassion and in humility at all times. That is the character of the Lord Jesus, friends. And so when we read our text, he that believes on the Son of God, the Lord Jesus, has the witness in himself, people will see the Spirit within us. They will judge us by the Spirit within us. That's what Jesus meant in John chapter 3 when he says to Nicodemus, you must be born again, for that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. We see this in John chapter 3 verse 6. But Jesus goes on and he says, marvel not that I said unto you, you must be born again. In other words, you've been born physically, now you must be born spiritually. And we know from Ezekiel chapter 28, I believe, that to be born spiritually means we have a new heart. We have a new spirit. We have a new nature. And so Jesus says in verse 8, the wind blows where it lists or where it wants. And you hear the sound of the wind, but you cannot tell from where it came or where it is going. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Why? Because they are going to move according to the Spirit. And what does that mean? That means our life is going to reflect the spirit of Jesus himself, a spirit of truth, a spirit of grace, a spirit of mercy, a spirit of tenderness, gentleness, kindness, meekness, humility, patience, and sweetness, all while proclaiming the truth. You see, friends, the truth can be very harsh, can be very coarse, in and of itself. And so we must do everything we can to think about the person who is listening to us. We must communicate the message of God as we would want to hear it ourselves. 
if we're too aggressive in our approach, if we are too strong or pushy, it's going to build defenses in the person that's listening. But if we respect them and we think before we speak, there will be a bridge to the heart of the listener as opposed to the wall. And John is very clear about this in our text when he says, again, he that believes on the Son of God has the witness in himself. Why? Because in 1 John chapter 2, verse 6, he says, he who abides in Jesus ought himself to walk as Jesus walked. And so that's our focus each and every day when we wake up and we arise out of bed, friends. It's to put on the Lord Jesus Christ and to walk as he walked, to talk as he talked, and to minister grace and truth in wisdom and sincerity to all those whom cross our paths. Well, friends, I pray that this word has met you in your need today. I pray that you will apply it in your lives, and I pray that those around you will be drawn closer to the Lord Jesus because of what you have to say and how you minister unto them. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I truly love you, and I'll see you on the next video.